Number two in the Rero video range is Gang War in Milan from 1973, directed by Umberto Lenzi. His first foray into Pelagio Teki. This is particularly mean, macho, and misogynistic, as you would expect from Lenzi. We are following two gangs here. Uh, we have Toto, uh, played by Antonio Sabato, who is a pimp leading a group of call girls. We have a uh, Frenchie, who is someone who's moving into the business. He wants to deal in snow or heroin, uh, and he wants to work uh, with Toto to kind of have his girls sell this as well. I thought we could do business, work together as partners. You have a vast organization of prostitution in the streets and in apartments, and I could provide you with snow. It's a power struggle. Who's going to be the boss? Who's going to be the one in control? And that kind of formulates into this gang war uh, that we're going to have. And this is one of those particularly nasty films where nobody's likeable. Nobody has any kind of redeeming facets whatsoever. Everybody here is reprehensible and just out for themselves. But it makes good watching. <laughs> and that's sometimes... Just what we need. Look out, it's the French! No! No! What I'll kind of love about these early 70s movies is seeing a lot of the production standards, seeing the interiors of houses, just the wacky designs and, and the um, wallpapers, the carpeting, all of those kind of things are just fun to look at. And when they're populated with some of the uh, these actors doing wild and crazy things, it just makes it even more fun. Uh, the, there is a, a kind of nastiness built into this movie as we see lots of characters die, die horrible deaths at the hand of their opposition. But the main two leaders here, Toto and Frenchie, are, are always kind of safe for the most part. I mean, and they do things that just don't make sense, that they keep catching each other out. You know, they, they'll, they'll catch Frenchie, who's about to have uh, relations with somebody, they'll burst in, they'll have surrounded with guns, um, and he will just be like, ah, you got me, what do you want? And then they'll work out a deal, and they'll continue on like this until they fall out and start to fight each other again, and it's, it's crazed where they have the upper hand to take their opposition out and they never quite take it. You bastard, you'd have got a kick out of castrating me! The main character of, of, of uh, Toto, played by Sabato, is wonderful because at the start of this one, he has a great business going. He's very sure-footed, he has great relationships with his friends. As this war goes on, he starts to deteriorate to the point where he starts to uh, succeed uh, but take real risks after that, start to abuse his friends uh, and family uh, and almost implode within himself. There is this codependent idea throughout the film where these two gangsters really want each other. They want to kind of have that battle. It's exciting, it's something thrilling. It takes away the sure-fittedness of their business, everyday dealings which they have uh, and they just kind of like this back and forth uh, jabbing at each other, and to be honest, myself, I loved it as well. We oui, hello. Was it you, Captain? <laughs> well, it was my little joke, mon ami. The action is infrequent in this one, but when it does come, it's exciting, it's thrilling, um, and really brings a lot of energy with it. Like I said, this is a, a lensy film, so there are lots of misogynistic natures throughout it. There is lots of machismo and macho-ness going on here. And there is that strong meanness that just runs through this one. There is an inevitable conclusion at the end of this one, but it feels like the beginning of another cycle of torturous terror and short-lived success. I really enjoyed Gang War in Milan. It was thrilling. It was exciting. It gave me characters that were reprehensible. I kind of liked following these people about, even though there was nothing likeable about them. The back and forth between the bad guys was really fun, and the violence when it comes was particularly mean, nasty, and uh, 
yeah, exciting. Another winner for me from Rero, I'd say this is an easy watch. Uh, like I said, if you like your films with uh, good uh, moral heroes, you're not going to find anything here. It's nasty. But kind of entertaining with that nastiness. I'd love to know your thoughts on Gang War in Milan. Let me know in the comment box below whether you love it, hate it, maybe you feel somewhere in the middle in this one. As always, there is more content up here. You can see more of my stuff in the description box below are links to Patreon, Membership Programme and manvfilm.com always in which you can support me. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.